All right, fun segment there. Uh, final segment today. This is the speediest speed round we've ever done. Calling this, can they win a title, yes or no? We're going to do 25 because 50 would be crazy. I wanted to do 50. Uh, we're going to do 25, and you have to give me one sentence on each team. Can they win a title, yes or no? If you and I are on opposite sides of this, we have to convince each other and then after one sentence come to an agreement. Otherwise, yeah. we have to shut down Sleepers Media. All right. Here goes nothing. Starting, we're taking Ken Palm's top 25. Sorry, Cart. We're, we're going off Ken Palm. Number 25, Kansas State. Can they win a title, yes or no? Is there any world, is there a 0.1% world where Kansas State could win the title this season, yes or no? I say no. I want to see Tyler Perry. But I'm okay with saying no, I guess. I mean, they, you, okay, my one sentence. They had a transcendent point guard last season, basically, and Keontae Johnson. And that got them losing to Florida Atlantic in the Elite Eight. There's no world where it's more tang than it was Noel. Because Noel played a lot in college before that and never looked like that yeah, last year. Okay. I, I think you need to meet me on no on this one. I'll meet you on no. That's fair, but I'm I'm res- like ugh. I want to see it because I think there's a chance Perry could be nasty. Fine with no. Texas A&M, can they win the title? Yes or no? No. No. Anything to elaborate on there? I don't. One, I don't think they can just based on their team. Two, I don't even know if Julius Marble will be on the team, and he's actually a pretty big part. He's an All SEC candidate member. Yeah, all man, an All Conference big man could help a lot of teams. Julius Marble, uh, Villanova, can they win a title? Yes or no? No. Sure about that? Yep. Nothing? No elaboration? I want a sentence at least, man. No, because their coach is Kyle Neptune. Okay, fine. I Because of that, I'm willing to accept no. I think there is a world where this roster could potentially do it, as crazy as that sounds. But no is fine. Maryland, is there a world where this team could win a national title, yes or no? Yes, there is, because they have a dominant guard in Jameer Young, and they have other pieces around them. They have older pieces. They have younger pieces. I I think there is a world where they do win a title. I think there is too. And I think it's the world is Jameer Young and Harris Smith are without question the best backcourt in the country. Like those two are what a Baylor backcourt normally is. I think Mm -hmm. we could see that and I buy it. I like it. Okay, we have one. This feels good. USC. Is there a world where that team wins a national championship this season? I hate this, but I want to say yes. I'll go. I'll, I'll go. Hell yes, there is. It's the same path as Maryland. Isaiah Collier and Boogie Ellis are that good. Yes. Okay. Yes. You, yes. You, USC and Maryland are in. We have two. Number 20, Wisconsin. Is there a world where this team wins a national championship? No. <laughs> no, like AJ Storr, Asijin, Stauskas, Lavert, 2013? No, because I don't think we'll ever get to see if those guys actually are those guys because of who their point guard is. You're Tyler Wall's biggest fan. They're, this team's old. You will never, ever know what this team is because of who their point guard is. What if Bo Ryan's coaching this team? You will never know who this team is because of who their point guard is. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll take a no. But if Bo Ryan was coaching this team, my answer would be yes. Illinois, is there a world where Illinois wins a national championship? Can you actually close your eyes and seriously say that you see a world where this team is hoisting the trophy? Yes, I can. Because Terrence Shannon Jr. could be a first-team All-American and Coleman can be a all- first-team All-Big Ten guy. And they have other role-player guys that – can excel in those roles like Damask. I need you to talk me into this, and that was a good pitch. I am so I'm mad that I'm doing this, but I promised I would be honest on this show. A Brad Underwood team can win a national championship in this sport. A, a Brad Underwood team can win six games in the postseason, not two, but six in one season. All it takes is one. He, I mean, he's due for a draw. He is due for a draw, but six is different. I think he's due for a draw for like two, not, not due for a draw for six. I mean, okay, what if it's not real six? What if it's not six real games? Like he's he's beating up on Hampton in the first. Okay. Or so, I don't know. There's a world. Like, there's a world. Fine. I'm fine. I'll I'll give you yes on this. Yes. If you if you answer this honestly for me. Is the day one roster, is every player on the day one roster still on the team if Illinois wins the national championship? No. See, I think if it went good enough for them to win a title, they would be. That would be my flip. Huh. Maybe. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. Brad can do that. Brad can definitely keep all his players, 100%. Kentucky, number 18. Is there a world where they win a national title, yes or no? Yes, if Big Z's eligible. Oh. 
I like that flip. Um, uh, Busy, yes, Busy's yes. eligible. Antonio Reeves, one of the best guards in the country. Yes. Like, yes, yes, yes. yeah. I and Cal Perry, like, like yeah. it or not, Cal Cal's gonna get one more before he's gone. I strongly mm-hmm. believe that. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, I'm in on that. More teams can win a title. Is there a world where North Carolina under Hubert Davis wins a national championship with an 18 year old reclassifying point guard in Armando Baycott, et cetera? Yes. No, there's not. Come on. Yes, there is because RJ Davis is special. We can't say every good team could win a national title. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this exercise. It's not just is that a good team? I think we are. I'll meet you you at no on this one. But if Cano is special, I guess it could happen. Harrison Ingram's interviews are really good. The fact that no, the fact that we're buying this off interviews tells me all I need to know. No, North Carolina cannot win a title. Put me on record. Do you agree that it's no? I'll meet you at no on this one. It's no. Texas, can they win a title? Yes or no? This hurts oh my, me. It's no. Texas. Yes, they can. Why I can said, Texas? Well, I thought you were going to fight me. You're out on Texas? We both have them in the Final Four. I I didn't know that. I thought you were out on them. We've done the Final Four six times. I've had Texas every time. Oh, my my apologies. I might have got you mixed up with somebody else. Yes. Tex- yes, they can. Because Ace Miss. <laughs> Who did you get me mixed up with, man? Honestly, another white guy probably. <laughs> do, you pod, do you podcast daily with another white guy who's unemployed no i think it was more like a, a, a conversation on the twitter sphere oh okay yeah yeah yes texas can win a title this exercise sucks you're drunk auburn can they win a title yes or no yes Ugh, i don't think so talk me into it quickly aiden holloway katie johnson it feels worse than all the other pairings we talked about doesn't okay, it no yeah, okay, you're yeah. right. No. Yeah, no. I think it's a, I think it's a no. Yeah. Arkansas, can they win a title, yes or no? No. I'm going yes. Why? Mus. I think I think I think he's new era Izzo. Counter counterpoint. No, Devo Davis. What if Devo's actually kind of good? He was good when they beat Kansas. Devo takes a back Devo takes a back seat to L Ellis. I'm in. Or Khalif Battle. I mean, I'm in. I'm, I'm in on both of that. Arkansas, yes, I think. Yes, they, yes. Michigan State, can they win a national title? No. Yes. Just kidding. Yes, obviously they can. Congrats, Creighton. Can they win a national title? Yes. yes. Our Blue Jays. Uh, yeah, we love them. They're very complete. Marquette. I can't wait for your answer on this. Can they win a national title? No. We don't lie on the show. There's no world. There's a 0.0% chance that Marquette could win a national championship with this roster. Who's their coach? Shaka Smart. Mm -hmm. He's made a Final Four before. Yeah, back in the Obama administration. It wasn't that long ago, man. Yes, it was. I mean, it was. But it wasn't. There's some teams that would kill to have made a Final Four in the Obama administration. Some people go back to Jimmy Carter. All right. Am I wrong? So you're, are you saying yes for Marquette? <laughs> yeah, I am. Yes. I Colick and Jones are great. They could be the best in the country. I will say I will meet you at yes and I will overlook Shaka Smart because of what Colick and Jones are. What's Colick? Colick and Jones form one of the better backcourts in the country. But what's Colick? Colick is a really good point guard. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you are definitely under the influence if you're admitting that. Number ten, Alabama. <laughs> Can they win a national title? No, because I think it's too many question marks at the guard. Like, what? We'll, we'll, like, I like Aaron Estrada, but is that going to translate from Hofstra to Bama? And in year two, I'm. I believe in transfer guards and Mark Sears, like making that leap in year two, like a la like a Tyson Walker or a Jameer Young. Ooh. But does he actually make that leap? I'm 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 not convinced for some reason. I really like that argument with uh with Sears. I haven't heard anybody make that. I think it's a compelling point. Could he have a big breakout that nobody sees coming? Nobody's really talking about with him. Um yeah. I I love that argument. I think obviously they're gonna miss Brandon Miller on the court. Uh, I think they're gonna miss some of the other guys they lost defensively. I think they're gonna miss Noah Clowney and Amari Burnett. Um, I think this team has too many question marks and I don't really buy Grant Nelson. So I'm out on that. What are you about to say? No, I'll, and I'll meet you on that. I'm out because I have question marks in the guards. What were, what are you smiling at? What are you no, to... nothing. What's the next team? Is, was it the on the court? No, I was just waiting. What's the next team? I don't get what's going on right now. The next team is Duke. Can they win a national title? Yes or no? Yes. 
Yeah, they can. They're too talented. They're too talented. Shire, we think Shire's for sure going to get one at some point, right? Yeah, I'm actually, like, in on Shire. I was a little bit, like, reserved about him. But I actually think, like, he's not just, like, the, uh, I don't know, to put it in forms, like a nepotism type coach. Like, they just gave it to him because he went to Duke. And I actually think that Shire's low-key a killer. I actually think he had to overcome some shit. Like, I think it would have been really easy for someone to step in and do a Neptune where, like, you're taking over for a great and you're just not it. I think Shire has, like, rebuilt this shit his own way already. Mm -hmm. Uh, He's definitely going to get one at some point. He could do it this year. Tennessee, Rick Barnes, could they win a national championship this year? Yeah, they can. Are you saying that because of how good they were with their backup guards against your team? Yeah. I'm okay with that. I think that's the fair reason outcome too. I'm with it. Okay. Baylor is seventh in the rankings somehow. I'm baffled by this. They're seventh. Can Baylor win a national title this year? No, they can't. I don't think so either. I'm really confused yeah. by it. They just lost to Gonzaga in a scrimmage and uh Ray J. Dennis didn't play. I did yeah. like so weird. Like the great guard years of Baylor, they were like Lululemon. This this brand, they're they're good, but they're like the target brand. You know, they're they're, they're the good brand, whatever target brand. They're good. They're solid. Don't get me wrong. They're good, but they're not Lululemon, like a machine type guards that I think people think of when they think of Baylor guards. But so they are tell- good. You're telling me our wives are gonna buy a bunch of Baylor stock? Yes. Yeah, target brand. Uh, Gonzaga. No, sorry, I skipped one. Arizona. Can Caleb Love in Arizona, number six, win a national championship this year? Yes. Oh! Okay, I'm fine to go with yes. I think the answer is no, for the record. Um, I think they can make a deep run. I think by the time they get to the title game, Caleb's going to do the Caleb implosion thing. Yeah, like, if he's that important to them for six games, I think he can go five and a half before going 0 for 11 and a half. Uh, also... hate to say this love him absolutely love him not so sure about tommy lloyd right now in march love him and love him in the season did we not did we not just miss what happened last year did we not just miss that 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 gets overlooked a lot that team was loaded and everybody's just kind of like running it back and now caleb loves in the room like ah, that doesn't feel the best to me i'll say yes because i want it to happen i like arizona but doesn't feel good uh number five gonzaga can they win a national championship this year no Here's my spin zone. I think they could because I think it could be like it kind of feels to me that if Mark Few is actually going to do this, he's going to do it in a year. Nobody sees coming. OK, I kind of like that. angle, like the doubt me angle, like they're doubting yes. us, like they're picking St. Mary's over us. Yes, I think okay. that Mark Few is not going to be a guy who wins the title with his best team. But if he if he ever gets one, it'll be a random ass year where, oh, by the way, he has a Nemhard at point guard. Yeah. I like that. And Nolan Hickman, I know you don't feel a certain way about him, but he played really good against Baylor, and Baylor's guards are really good defensively. So I I let that performance carry some weight. Yeah. So we're did we just buy Gonzaga? That feels yeah. Feels yeah, we did. yeah, we did. Yeah, but they they can do it though. Okay. Uh UConn, can they win a national championship? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, they can as well. That would be a pretty straightforward one. Donovan McLean's great. Tristan Newton, I think, is very underrated somehow. Like, yeah. man, had multiple triple doubles, I'm pretty sure. And he's just back mm-hmm. with the with shooters. Like, Caravan's going to have a breakout. That team's loaded. And yeah, Spencer. People, people are sleeping on him for no reason. I don't get it. And it, people aren't even sleeping on them, but they still feel underrated. UConn's really good. Yes. Houston, can they win a national championship this year? Yes or no? No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. They're third on Ken Palm preseason. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't see it. I, I watched their exhibition game the other day. They're just they're they might have been missing some guys as well, like Arsenal and things like that. But I just don't see it with this team talent wise. Like they they lost a lot. Not buying LJ Cryer. I am, but like it's LJ Cryer is a worse version of Marcus Sasser. Yeah, yeah. It feels like they missed their window a little bit to me. Like yeah. they they had a couple championship worthy years. They made one Final Four, and now they're still very good, but. They had a great team last year. They had Tremont Mark and Marcus Sasser on that team, and they couldn't – like, that was the year. Like, honestly, last year was the year, I think. I'm really curious to see how they do in Big 12 play, but I think you're right. The answer is no. Two teams left. Number two, Kansas. Can they win a national title this year, yes or no? I have my answer. No. It's no. Isn't it no? No. no. It's, it's no. No. And I'll be straight up, I just don't think that a team with Hunter Dickinson as a star player can win a national championship. We are going to get so much shit for this if Kansas fans somehow see this. I'm not saying they're not going to be good. I'm just saying I I guess this is – it is is it kind of harsh to say they can't win a national championship? 
Yeah, yes, it is objectively. But it's also not just Hunt. It's not just Hunter. Like I just I don't know about the guards. Them losing redacted hurts more than they know. Okay, like, that was going to be a big piece of their team. Here's the difference: we are doing they won't win a national title. We're not doing they can't win a national title. Like it, the exercise is supposed to be can they? We are doing they won't. Okay, and I would say they won't. Would you say they could? Yes, they can because Bill Self is the coach. I would too. And that I'm glad it took us a minute to get there. I'm mm-hmm. glad we got there. Bill Self and anyone could get there. This team has a lot of talent. We personally will bet harshly against it, especially if you play Illinois in the round of 32. But, yeah, it could happen. Number one, this one's actually more interesting than it should be. Can Purdue win a national championship? They can, but they won't. Okay, but they could. They could, but they won't. You have no doubts in your mind that Matt Painter could win a national championship this year with Lance Jones starting at the three. Yes. Okay. I agree with that. Uh, for the record, I just, it's dicier than you would like to think. And if we had to assign, like, maybe this is a different exercise, if we had to assign a percent to a team, what percent of the time, if you simulate the season, do you think Purdue wins a national championship? Good Lord, you know better than to give me percentage. Um, I we should do this as a whole segment one day before the season starts. Like, what what person? If you simulate this a thousand times, how many times does Purdue win the national championship? God, that's, that'd be a shit show if you actually had me doing that. Um, <laughs> uh, twenty seven percent of the time. <laughs> I love you. I love this podcast so much. It's so fun. That's such a horrible answer. That actually, you know what? We've come this far, Cart. That is how I know you're not under the influence of anything. Because you would have randomly done the math correctly if you were under the influence of something. And that was horrible math. Uh, No team would be more than like a 10% max for the record. But uh, okay. Good job, Purdue. Good job, everyone. Good job, us, for powering through this on Halloween night. And hopefully this is out tomorrow morning. Can we add this up quickly? How many teams do we say? We said, uh, I want to go through and actually get this right. Maryland, USC, Illinois, Kentucky. We said no on North Carolina? Yes. Texas, Arkansas, Michigan State, Creighton, Marquette. We said no on Bama? We said no on Bama. Duke, Tennessee, no on Baylor. Yes on Arizona, yes on Gonzaga, yes on UConn, no on Houston, yes on Kansas, yes on Purdue. We have 16 teams. There are 16 teams in the country that can win a national championship.